Good morning. This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you? How are you? I am doing well. New month, new miracle, December 1st. I just love new months. It just ushers in, hey, newness. It's a chance for a do-over. Actually, every day is a chance for a do-over. Every new day that God gives us is a chance for something great to happen. I'm listening to the theme of people, and it's work, work, work. I'm actually part of that group, but it's not a good theme. Life is about connecting with people. It's about togetherness. It's about the human contact. Once we take away that, um, it changes the world. And not in a good way. You always want to stay connected with each other. But the way society has things set up, it's about chasing. You know, and I get it because I'm at a place where I want to secure my retirement. You know, I want to secure things. And sometimes as single people... The need is even greater because you feel like, hey, I'm all I got. And it's a pressurous type of situation to be in. You know, I'm to the point some days it's like, you know what? <laughs> I do know that I'm all I got and I just do things to make myself happy. My personality, and I've been this way since high school. I'm an extrovert, but as much as I am that, I'm very introverted. And I'm very comfortable in my own skin. I can have a great day just being to myself because I know at the end of the day, I'm all I got. Something happened to me many years ago. I used to be a type that would reach out for advice. I don't do that anymore. Praise be to God. Not saying I know it all, but I just don't do what I used to do. So one time I was having a relationship issue. I always had relationship issues back in the day. And I reached out to like six to seven people. Nobody answered their phone. And I was devastated. I'm like, man, I really was in a dilemma. But it wasn't their fault. That's my fault. And I just remember God was like, what about me? You know, and that day changed my life forever. This is over 16, 17 years ago, probably longer. Yeah, I can't keep up with years anymore. But remember that at the end, it's always you and God. I remember when I had breast cancer, I was in therapy with this beautiful therapist. She ended up relocating to Seattle. She was an art therapist, but her approach was so gentle, and she was just a soft-spoken just a very, I can't describe her energy, warm and comforting energy. Just what I needed during a scary time like that. And she told me, Tammy, I know as much as your friends and family want to help you during this time. Only you and God can get you through this cancer battle. And she told the truth, but I agree with her, but I had a support system that was second to none and I'm so grateful to God every day um, for people reaching out to me and, and bringing me food and money and just being so kind because when you're fighting like that with an illness you're only as good as your mind your body your soul your support system but I said all that to say she was right within reason only you can get you through this life but as you are going through this life, don't forget about connection, you know? Don't forget about people. And sometimes your family, you're not as close to your family. It may be friends that become your family. December 1st, 2022, it's almost over. What are your goals for 2023? What do you want to change? You are not a victim. You are not stuck where you are. You are what you think. You are what you think. And it's a deliberate thing, you know. It doesn't come natural for us all. Some of us have to work harder at having positive thoughts. Part of my daily routine. I got the power of positive thinking right here. 
I got the, the book, Secret, The Power, right here. I have my daily word right next to me. These are things I have to do daily to keep my mind fresh, to keep my thoughts fresh. And guess what? Negative thoughts still come. Even though I have things in place to help me, I still get negative thoughts. It's, it's just human nature. Use December 1st as a reset. Think about some of the things you desire and some of the things you want to do, some of the trips you want to take. But also some of the time you want to spend with others. Nobody knows the expiration date of their life. Don't get caught up in this world where I got to I gotta do this, I got to do that, I got to do this. And you shoving people to the side. What do most people say on their deathbed? I should have spent more time with my family. I regret spending all those hours in the office. These are rich people too, some of them. I regret all those trips I took for business. I regret not spending more time with my kids, my son, my daughter, my grandson, my wife, my parents. Don't be those people. Do it all right. That way at the end, you will have no regrets. Tammy C. Walker, have a beautiful day. Thank you for all your comments and all your kindness. God bless you all. God keep you all. Bye-bye.